It's hard to talk about this stuff without sounding self-righteous. That's my nightmare. I'm trying to not sound self-righteous about all this because it's my pet peeve when people are self-righteous in conversations. And I try to remember, though, that when someone's self-righteous, it usually just means they care so much about something that they become an asshole, right? <laughs> I do it. I'm guilty. I am guilty. I am very into animal advocacy. And oh, thank you. Oh, that's very nice. And I don't have kids. What else am I going to do? <laughs> There are times when I am so passionate about protecting an innocent animal that I will be a jerk to a human. It happens kind of a lot. And <laughs> recently, I saw a stray dog at this huge intersection in Los Angeles, and nobody was stopping. Nobody was stopping, so I pull over, and I can see that it's a little tiny puppy. I know! <laughs> And I could tell it was in really bad shape, okay? So I get out of my car, and this guy yells at me. He's like, you dumb bitch! And I was like, fuck you! <laughs> So I'm like screaming at all these people and I finally get like 12 lanes to stop. And I get closer to this puppy and I get closer and closer to this little tiny puppy and I see that this little tiny puppy is a trash bag. But I had already been such an asshole <laughs> that there was really no turning back at this point. So I just had to, <laughs> just had to lean in. <laughs> and that's how I got tetanus.